Hi, it's Bridget. Welcome to Above Life Channel. The purpose here is to inspire your spirit and to fill you with hope. Today, this video is going to be all about skeptics. Skepticism, cynicism, why it's so hard to believe. Why is it so hard to believe nowadays? All right, so I'm going to start this off with one of the comments that was actually ca caught by one of my spam filters on YouTube. Just so you're aware, if you are making comments on Above Life Channel here at YouTube, there are some things that YouTube will catch, like any kind of links, some foul language, that kind of thing. So if you did make a comment and you don't see it, it might be because it got caught in their spam filter. So here's one such um, comment, and sometimes it just catches stuff it shouldn't catch. So it's kind of weird, but anyway, so here's the question, all right? <clears throat> I'm gonna try not to be sassy because I really don't feel sassy. Well, yeah, I kind of do feel sassy about this, but I'm gonna share this because I think it's a legitimate comment. It's about believing and really kind of about skepticism or cynicism. Are you for real? That's a comment. Are you for real? Yes, I'm quite real, thanks. <laughs> I'm a person just like you, as real as you are, I'm real. Um, how do we know, she says. I have been a Freddie Mercury, Mercury and Queen fan since 1973. I've loved him since I was 13. Some of the channeling you present does not sound like Freddie at all. Some of the things you channel through him are not accurate. I would so love to believe you, like so love to believe you, and connect with Freddie because he is in my heart. But how do you exp explain your inaccuracies? All right, so uh, this happens a lot. Um, in comments too, people will say, I'm sorry, but, or they'll say things like, it's really weird, it's like passive aggressive a little bit, and I don't think that people do it on purpose. I think that that's just how they feel, like they're, the feelings are coming out, like they're kind of arguing with themselves when they, they type it. Like it feels like this woman really wants to believe in the afterlife and understand that she could communicate with Freddie Mercury for herself, so it really doesn't have a lot to do with me, except for the fact that maybe because she found my channeling, it opened up the possibility for her. So then my work is done. We did it. She's asking questions. She's getting curious. That's a good thing, you guys. And you can clearly see in this particular comment how there's this kind of back and forth with, with the energies there and what should I believe and I don't know. And I think a lot of people who kind of present, present almost as like skeptics or um, seem a little bit negative and maybe in some of the comments or things, or even in life, okay, in the world, it's because they're coming from a place of really not feeling very um, sure of themselves. And it's not just like a lack of confidence, it's not that, you guys, because a lot of us are not sure of ourselves in different areas of our lives. There are parts of my life that I'm not sure of myself either. So it's natural, right? It's natural to have those questions or those self-doubts, but we can't give our power away. We can't give our power away. You can't go to someone else and say, here, take my life choices and make decisions for me. But so oftentimes we do because we need somebody else to blame or we need somebody else to be responsible because we don't feel like we qualify. We aren't smart enough to make our own choices or we don't trust ourselves, don't trust ourselves to make our own choices, to change our values, to create our own belief systems. We don't trust ourselves. And it's not an easy thing to do either. Sometimes we're in a vacuum of other relationships that are feeding into the negative or our feelings of self-doubt or inadequacy or worthiness. So I'm not really like upset by this comment. I can clearly see that there is a deep desire for her to have, to be able to believe in the afterlife. And yet I also understand that it's not my job to convince people. Above Life Channel is not created to change you, to make you believe, to give you proof and evidence and research-based information or a full view of somebody's life. This is not a biography channel. It's not about the details and the, the specific facts. That's not what this channel is about. There are other channels and other great resources, journalism resources and things like that, that if you wanna learn about history of people, then you can go there to do that. And there are also other channels that are very spiritual based and religion based and, and that are all about helping people to find 
it in find their way to believing in higher power or finding their way to believing in a god or a source or a prime creator or whatever that higher power is that you would call like a god right a, a higher consciousness and so but that's not what above life channel is either it's to inspire your spirit to fill you with hope because this is your life so live it so i'm not going to take on the responsibility to change your belief systems but i will challenge them because of just the nature of the conversations i have because there's such a variety of celebrities that we talk to in the afterlife and they give just an incredibly vast array of information and insight that we can use whether or not you liked that celebrity it doesn't matter because that liking them or not liking them approving them or disapproving them is a judgment piece that if you are doing that already and not watching a video because you didn't like that person, that should give you an opportunity for learning. You should get curious about that because that is resistance, my friends. That's what keeps you from being happy in other areas of your life. That resistance, that judgment, that, oh, I don't like them. They think they're too good. What part of you feels that way? What part of you are you actually criticizing in that feeling, in that thought? Because you are, you're criticizing yourself not that person mm -mm. it will block you and create barriers for you and it's just an excuse for you to ignore your own life opportunities for advancement for self-development and for personal growth and that's your choice too i'm not here to convince you that you should be a better person but part of my job as a psychic life coach and as a psychic medium is to help you to feel better to acknowledge through awareness that you have the capacity to feel better. When you feel better, you do better. But you have to be willing to show up for yourself and build the relationship with yourself and trust your own intuition and open your mind in a way that allows you to create your life instead of being a victim or a follower of your life path experience, you can create it. Instead of giving away your power to other people to convince you of something to change your mind, you gotta do it for yourself. You gotta do it for yourself. That's where the power is. That's where the empowerment is. All right. All right, that was, see, that was an awesome comment. And I have to say that I'm sure a lot of people do feel that way, right? And if I had the power to change people's minds and opinions, oh, I should totally be running for political office. I mean, seriously, right? <laughs> All right, all right. So as far as um, skeptics or being skeptical, I think that people who present that way, I think that it just shows that maybe they're coming from a place of having a deeper desire to really want to grow or want to learn, or maybe they really just want to understand some things. And their life experience has created resistance, obstacles, barriers where they felt like they didn't have power or they were even in a victim mode. Maybe they've had some abuse or some pain or some experiences where they can't trust other people and they sure as heck can't trust themselves because it was their judgment that put them into relationships with other people where they gave a second chance, a third chance, a 10th chance, and they just kept getting hurt over and over again. So the skepticism comes from like a pattern or a cycle, a belief system that isn't isn't 100% healthy for that person, isn't, isn't totally in support of that person's best, greatest good, okay? That's where it's coming from. And so there's a part of all of us that have that, that push things away, that, that, that really, really want acceptance or really, really want to understand, but then also don't want to understand because then that means I have to change. And that might mean I have to be more accountable and responsible and I already feel like I ha I'm overloaded with life. So there's a lot of things that can create skepticism, but underneath that, there is a desire to want to understand. There is a desire to want to feel better. And so we just have to accept that that's part of reality, but I won't respond to people who are skeptics or who, who question like, why I don't, I'm not very like specifically detail oriented because I've also addressed that. My details or my facts and that kind of a thing when I'm doing a channeling session, I've addressed that multiple times in multiple videos that I'm human. That's just the way it is. So, and there's lots of other resources, biographies and news channels and journalist, uh, journalism and books and all that stuff that if you're interested in information for people like that, then you can find that on your own. That's not what I do here at Above Life Channel. All right. 
Hey, thanks so much for watching. Make a note in the comment below if there is any kind of insight you have about the topic of skepticism or about kind of this, this feeling of um, why should I believe? Why should I believe you? Are you for real? That kind of a thing. And so maybe you might want to kind of reflect on that a little bit and maybe share in the comments below. All right. This is Bridget. It's been my pleasure to connect with you today. Remember at Above Life Channel, the job is to inspire your spirit. I hope we've done that today. I want to give you hope and know that you can trust yourself. You, can, you have the power to create your life. You do. Because this is your life. It's not mine. I can't live it for you. It's on you. It's on you. You get to live it. Just live it. Live your life like it's a gift because it is. Thanks for watching.